it, the thing that was just really flooring to me <laughs> where Sam Altman was pleading with uh, sort of the courts or whomever would listen and said, listen, if you don't let us violate copyright, you know, you're going to lose the war with China. <laughs> and, I'm like, <laughs> and like, what, is, how did we, is the math mathing? Like, how is this actually working? And so, And I think a lot of people take a look at these tools that are coming out, leveraging AI as it's loosely defined, and they see these tools as being a replacement for the human creativity and not necessarily as a collaborator or a possible collaborative tool for, for the artistic process. And I'm really curious to hear your perspectives on how these systems might not necessarily need to be used in a replacement of human creativity perspective or approach, but how they how they might actually have some potential uh, using them in a in a way that's a little more collaborative. And so I want I want to take issue with the word collaborative actually because that's one sure. of these anthropomorphizing words that makes it sound like the thing on the other side is very human. Yeah, that's and- true. The you know anthropomorphizing this technology also tends to dehumanize people at the same time, and I think also if you if you think about using some sort of a remixing system as a way of getting ideas, let's say, um, if you're collaborating with anybody, it's the people whose work was used to create that system in the first place, and you could imagine a way of doing that that actually honors the humanity and creativity and work and effort of those people. Um, you know, there was I forget their name. There was a person who had a really funny account that was like using language modeling pre-chat GPT to um, do things like come up with uh, messages for uh, Valentine's Day candy hearts, like feed in a bunch of them and see what comes out. And like that was hilarious. And it was done on the sort of known data set. And so you could imagine a more local community controlled way of saying, yeah, I, I want to, I want to be part of this artistic collective that is contributing to this tool and that we are all benefiting from, for example. Um, But as soon as it is sort of funneled through big tech and uh, not just funneled, but basically stolen by big tech, I just can't get on board with it. And I would say that there's, you know, some, somebody that's been helpful to follow is, uh, I don't know if you've seen this person, Ed Newton Rex used to work at, I think, stable, stable diffusion got really fed up with the kind of ways in which the and stable diffusion, I think was trying, it was either stable diffusion or mid journey. I think it was stable diffusion and was trying to come up with a way to fairly compensate or credit artists. Um, and, and in a way that would actually respect the ownership and give consent and, and, and give sufficient credit found that there was no way of doing that, especially under the kind of, you know, valuation regime and that stable division was trying to chase after. I mean, how are they were actually going to try to profit on this? So he ended up founding an organization called Fairly Trained, um, which has a lot of audio um, models and supports startups in which either models are certified to have consent, compensation, whatever, um, or data sets that have have done that for for artists. And a lot of them are audio in nature, right? Mm-hmm. Um but I mean, yeah, just like Emily was saying, I mean, it's the element of control when when big tech gets in the mix, they want to uh, try to train the biggest, you know, the biggest model on everything or quote unquote everything without really any kind of respect to um, what the what the process of the human is and their what the artist is doing. And so, I mean, it, the thing that was just really um, flooring to me <laughs> and really just to me gave the game away is what where Sam Altman was pleading with um, with uh, Congress or the courts or whomever would listen and said, listen, if you don't let us violate copyright, you know, you're going to lose the war with China. <laughs> and, I'm like, <laughs> and like, what, is, how did we, is the math mathing? Like, how is this actually working? And so it was just really, uh, you know, it was really indicative. Facial, facial recognition block. We're here to make a planning. Can't nobody stop us. Everyone turn on your facial facial recognition block.